Are you ready for a non-sponsored H&M haul? Cheers! channel I'm Adri. Today's video is an H&M haul. It's a try on. I'm going to talk about sizing, pricing and more importantly quality. But before we get into all of that I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. While you're there you can ring my bell which will notify you every time I upload a video. Are you sitting comfortably? Go grab yourself your favourite beverage. Mine is a coffee, not what you expected. I know, it's Holy Friday. It's actually our Holy Week. So um, I've decided not to take any alcohol this week. And apart from anything else, it is mid-morning. Cheers. Oh, it's nice. Nice, nice, nice. I've got it flavoured with caramel and something or other, you know, that sugar-free stuff. Anyway, onto the H&M haul. Before I get onto the actual haul, I wanted to touch onto the quality of H&M clothing, or at least the items that I have bought. Now, I have ordered not too many times from H&M, but I have ordered in the past. This jumper that I have on, I think this was maybe last year's I ordered it from H&M, it's a keeper. I ordered another jumper at the same time and I kept that as well. Can't remember if I ordered anything else in that H&M haul. More recently, I showed on one of my vlogs uh, items that I'd ordered from H&M and I sent every single one of them back. Some because of sizing, some because I just didn't like the way they looked on me. Anyway, online just now there are a lot of influencers that are showing H&M because they're obviously sponsored and they're obviously loving the items and normally the better items are normally sold out and all of that by the time we mere mortals get on to order them so they get all the items sent and then they've sold out. Anyway, all of that aside, I have just ordered another few items as well because I thought okay I ordered them the last time let me give it another go but for me H&M quality is the same quality as Primark yes we call Primark Primark in Scotland okay I'm not mispronouncing it this is how we pronounce it in Scotland Primark and I'm not changing <laughs> okay so the quality for me H&M and Primark are the same, except I keep pulling my hair. Except um, H and M is priced higher than Primark, but for me the quality is exactly the same. I sh I shop from Primark quite a lot, although I was in Primark yesterday and uh, honestly it was rubbish. But we have a small local Primark, so the choice isn't good. I suppose if I went into Glasgow, I'd have a much better choice. But anyway, it's not about that. It's not about Primark. But I just wanted to make that comparison. In my book, I don't see a difference in the quality. It's just slightly higher priced. Okay. So that's what I think about the quality of um, H&M clothing. Okay, let's start off with the uh, first item. Here it is, one of my favourite colours, as you all know, those of you that have been with me for ages, I just I love purples, lilacs, all these sorts of colours, this kind of, that's my colour. But this again, I was influenced into buying, so this is your kind of oversized blazer that everybody's wearing at the moment. And let me tell you, let me tell you. This makes me look like a clown. I, I don't know how people pull it off. I, I really do not know how people pull it off. I love this and I just think if it had a wee bit more structure to it, I mean, when I say I loved it, I didn't love the way it looked on me, but I love the color of it and all of that. I ordered this in a size medium. At the time when I tried to order it, because it does, it is described as oversized, I thought, right, I'm going to size down because I know I don't like things that are overly oversized on me. 
but it was totally sold out and in fact when I ordered it in the medium that was there I think this must have been the last one it's all creased and all that I didn't bother ironing it because or steaming it because I knew I was going to send it back I just it's long it's very much like it's very much clown like on me it does have two pockets here which are stitched up but you can unstitch them and you would have working pockets there because I can see that just from the side stitching just there so if you unstitch them you would have the two two pockets there it has a single button and as I rolled up the one side of the sleeve just to show how it looked in comparison to the other sleeve down so that's what it looks like there so this jacket here retails for $34.99 I have in fact reordered it now in a small I checked which is what happens with H&M if you keep checking things come back it's probably with returns and things like that and I've actually applied a discount code which I had because you earn points as well with H&M and I've managed to get it for £29 if the small doesn't work then obviously this style just won't work for me so this one's going back but like i said i have reordered it in a size small and i'll let you know in the vlogs how i i get on with the size small and on my instagram now remember to follow me on instagram if you don't sandry's world okay here we go the size small has arrived which is obviously a much better fit but I don't know I just I'm not used to seeing myself with such a boxy jacket I'm just I mean there's still plenty of room in this and I've got I mean I'm wearing the jumper and obviously I wouldn't be wearing it with this outfit but um, I don't know I'm just anyway so that's the small so it's a the small is a much better fit I would say let's button it up that's it buttoned up I mean I don't know item number two is this right here and I love all the colours in this so I love yellow and I love the lilacs and I ordered this in uh what did I order this in a medium and it fits okay does fit okay it was 12 99 it's quite thin it's like jersey material is that the right word it's quite thin but again I felt it, it was the length of this that I didn't like so if this had more length to it I would have probably kept it but I just didn't like the length of this so it's it's ribbed as you can see just there and it has these pull strings on the side there which work so you can pull it up higher so you're if you're into showing your midriff then it's fine I do like this but it's just too short for me and I ju I'm just not gonna reorder it it's just not that nice to me that I want to reorder it so this is going back as well see what I mean I think H&M just doesn't work for me next item is this here now this didn't come in a small medium blah blah this actually came in sizes so this came in a size 10 and you know I actually liked this I love the kind of I love the way this kind of is that a sweetheart almost square like I loved I actually really really love this there's no zips or anything to get into it and yeah this one I really really liked and this retailed for $17.99 I did actually think of reordering this in a size bigger but then I know all this would get much bigger as well so I mean it fits fine I don't know I just want everything to be really loose on me just now how different I am now before it used to be the tighter the better and now I just 
just want things to be loose although this isn't tight in any way and that's basically it as well the only thing like I said it's I just wish they would make things longer I just want more length on them but I think this one's going to be a keeper. I'm going to try it on again today and then decide because I actually really, really liked that and I like the colours of it and really, really easy to wear. Next item, we have a white t-shirt and it has this lace detail here. It is quite see-through and this one retailed for... 9.99 see this is the sort of thing i reckon i could get in pre-mark for four pounds literally i don't think in pre-mark this would be any more than four pounds i don't think the quality of this would be any better than the quality in pre-mark and this is going back because i actually don't think it's worth what did i say it was i can't remember so that that one was in a size medium 9.99 i just don't think it's worth 9.99 it honestly looks like something i could pick up from premark for four pounds and when i go into glasgow i probably will pick something up like that i just i just i just don't think the quality is there okay next item cycling shorts now i know i've never ever suited cycling shorts and i think that's because one my thighs are quite muscly so my the muscles on my thighs are quite defined I don't know if it's going to show in the footage and I have quite I've got quite big upper thighs like the anyway <laughs> anyway they just didn't look right on me I just I just don't like them and we know everybody's wearing them and I thought oh just for wearing in the house and I was just thinking of the cycling shorts a big long white shirt linen shirt which you will see over them belted or maybe tied was the vision I was having in my head no 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 no, no. I just but as soon as I put them on I was like but you know you know you don't suit cycling shorts you know I th I think you need really really slim legs for cycling shorts so yeah I just didn't like these and these ones actually you can see your knicker outline you know <laughs> whatever whatever kind of knickers you're wearing you, you could see it through these and they are like you can see they're quite see-through so you really you couldn't wear them just like that even nah so these are a definite no-no I ordered these in a medium and they were 9.99 so um they're going back i also ordered them in the black and again you can see the materials quite see-through and the black ones weren't even better and again i ordered them in a size medium 9.99 ribbed which makes them look like non-sports ones so they look as if you know they're to be worn casually as opposed to wearing them for cycling or working out in so yeah if you're looking for that type of thing these are good but not for me definitely not for me so whilst i was trying them i thought let me try the sports ones just to see the difference so these are like Spanx to me they look like Spanx and you know they've got they, they do hold you in and all that they do that I could have probably sized down in these so I ordered these in a UK medium again these were a lot more expensive if I remember these were it doesn't say but I think they were $17.99 so a lot dearer than the other ones you could see I mean, that looks I mean that top bit there looks almost like they are Spanx like their underwear you know and I, I wouldn't even wear them for working out because they just do not suit me I would rather wear like short shorts I look better in shorts rather than things that cling to me like that and I think that's because I'm quite well endowed in the thigh area my next item is the big big kind of linen type shirt this i ordered in a small 
did it go dark there i think it went dark there so this i ordered in a small because it did say oversized and remember when i ordered the last shirt in when i showed in my vlog i ordered it in a medium and it was so big but i like the sizing of this one i think this is going to be a keeper because it's just going to be so easy to wear over anything if you just want that cover up I think it will be really nice it just says natural linen and I just I, I really really like this so yeah this was 19.99 I wonder if this is the same as the one I ordered the last time and sent back it might be I don't know but I don't think it is but anyway it's a long it's, it's not white white it's kind of an it's more of a creamy white so yeah i think this is a keeper because it'll be really really easy to wear so if you're looking for these oversized shirts i would say size down i really needed to size down in this so it's really really long at the back and slightly shorter in the front it has the double buttons on the cuffs there and yeah i think uh this is going to be a keeper definitely okay next item just a plain long white t-shirt and it's a long white t-shirt <laughs> and when i ordered it i knew it was a long white t-shirt but it's like it's 9.99 again and i'm like i've got so many white t-shirts but again it's something that will be really really easy to wear just to throw on when you don't want to think about it just over anything i might keep this one because it's easy to wear i don't know if it's worth oh it's 8.99 so i don't know if it's worth 8.99 i don't know if i could i could probably get the same as this in premark but again i think this might be a keeper because it's just you know when you just don't know what to wear and you just want to wear something casual over a pair of jeans when you're having a fat day <laughs> you know that type of thing you could tuck it in in the front it covers your bum it covers a multitude of sins why does that keep going dark anyway this might be a keeper my final item and if you've watched my vlog you will have seen i've ordered these already i look at them and i love them and i put them on my feet and i don't love them so i don't know if the lilac jacket comes in time um and then i could try it all on just to see if i can make an outfit of it i don't have anything in this color in my shoes and they are really really comfortable so these i ordered these in my regular size so the last time i sized up in them and they were all so big uh, so this time i ordered my true size which is a european um size 39 us size 8 uk size 6 and they fit perfectly and um, they're not leather they feel really comfortable they're not overly high but you're getting you know a bit of height as well and I, d I just I don't know I'm just I just don't like them on my feet and I just think like I mostly wear trainers now and I was never the type of person that I would wear trainers going to the shops you know but honestly I'm either in trainers we're still not going out anywhere to wear nice shoes i think we've just all learned to be really really comfortable so i'm like these are two in between do you know what i mean so more than likely these are going back if i had to be honest because i don't like the way they look on my feet and i could make an outfit with a white pair of sandals i mean i've got my arans and things like that that i could wear and yeah i think these are probably going to go back these i think were 19.99 if i remember correctly so if you're going for these go for your true size and again it's things like this that i could probably pick up in pre-mark for maybe 10 pounds as opposed to 20 pounds so that's my thoughts on my h m so again it hasn't really worked for me if i'm looking for that kind of quality i would tend to look for it in pre-mark how does it compare to zara quality again i don't think zara quality has been that great either 
you know, it used to be above all of that, but again, I don't think it's been that great. And I think now Zara is very much geared to a much younger audience. Everything's ever so cropped and yeah. I'm worried I'm getting old, do you know that? Because I'm talking like an old person now, you know. This was this was the woman that loved anything short and anything tight and now I'm the total opposite. Am I changing? Am I getting older? No! Anyway, that's my thoughts on H&M. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Let me know how it compares to other brands for you. Do you shop from H&M? Is it just me that's being a too fussy, is it? Anyway, on that note, Cheers! If you would like to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, here. And if you're not already subscribed, just press the A right here. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!